you are so lazy it stinks, which is why I don't want to teach you anymore, and you may leave now. This is what my math tutor told me when I was 16 years old. I had just entered, but instead of opening the math book and teaching me, this is what he said. I was shocked and my stomach twisted. But stick with me, because I want to share how this painful experience was an efficient lesson that taught me that fulfilling others' expectations will never fulfill us. Instead, we need to find and live our authentic dream. And I will show you how you can do that. But first things first. So my tutor had just told me that I am not good enough and will never be. I left in humiliation and sat on the doorsteps in front of his house, and my thoughts were running. Am I that lazy? Am I that useless? Is he right and I will never achieve anything? So I decided to prove him wrong. After high school, I got an international business degree and graduated top of the class for my master's. In addition to my native languages, German and Vietnamese, I improved my English, I learned Spanish, and just enough Japanese to order the tastiest sushi in Tokyo. I got hired by prestigious multinational companies and started a great career. So finally, I was successful. And finally, I had proved him wrong. And while all of these experiences were invaluable. On the inside, something was wrong. When I looked into the mirror, I saw an empty shell of myself. I felt tired, exhausted, and burned out. And that's when I realized I'd been so busy building a life that looked successful, I'd forgotten what my definition of success was. I'd been so busy chasing somebody else's dream, but in fact, I had no idea what my dream was. What about you? Have you ever felt that way, like you're trapped in a career you don't truly love? Like you're running in a hamster wheel, never reaching a goal? Raise your hand if you know that feeling. I see a couple of hands, and actually, you're not alone. A poll has shown that 85% of people worldwide are unhappy in their jobs. How can we change this? Let me show you something. A survey by Lego has asked kids what they would like to become one day. While most kids from China would like to go to space, most kids from USA, most US American kids and British kids would like to become YouTubers. What do you think about that? Now, I believe there's probably many people who think one of these dreams is better than the other. One of these dreams is more valid than the other. But you see, that kind of thinking is part of the problem. Instead, I say, it does not matter whether your true calling looks ambitious, makes big money, or is future-proofed. I say, all dreams are created equal. All dreams are equally valid. And all dreams have the same right to coexist because they make our world a more colorful, diverse, and enjoyable place. I'm not a CEO, a celebrity, or a superhero, but I love what I do. And that is because my story has sent me on a journey to find my authentic dream. And on that journey, I have identified four simple steps to help you find and live yours. Those steps are noise, notice, nurture, and now. Let me explain. Steven Spielberg, who is probably one of the biggest dreamers of our times, once famously said, and I paraphrase, dreams never shout, dreams whisper. So we need to listen closely. But how can we hear a whisper when the world around us is so noisy? 
And that noise distracting us from what we really want is especially loud on social media. Which brings me to step number one. Cut out the noise so you can hear your dreams whisper. As a digital marketer, I used to post everything I did online. But it made me feel restless, and I compared myself to others, whose life always seemed a little bit shinier than my own. I was exhausted by all of that noise, so I decided to detox. I deleted all my social media apps, and I told my close friends to call me instead. The first week was tough, I'll be honest. I had FOMO, and I was wondering what my friends were up to. But soon, I felt calmer and more present, and that allowed me to hear my dreams whisper. So step number one, cut out the noise. And I'm not saying you need to quit on social media completely. All I'm saying is detox once in a while and use it consciously. Step number two, now that it's silent, you can listen and notice your dreams whisper. When it comes to dreaming, people often tell us to dream big. Now, that's motivating, but it implies that there is a hierarchy to dreams. There are big dreams and small dreams, and the big audacious ones seem more valid than the small and humble ones. What I suggest instead of dreaming big is let's dream authentically. So how can you find your authentic dream? Let me show you a simple but powerful exercise to help you. As soon as you're done watching this video, take a piece of paper or a notebook and create a table just like this. You want to have two columns, what energizes me and what drains me, and you want to split that into business, leisure, people, and environments. Now, write down anything that comes to your mind for each box. And once you're done, Observe. Is there a common theme in what you wrote? Then go to a new page and title that page My Authentic Dream. Now write down ideas, visions, professions, anything that matches your wish list on the left. And for the next days, even weeks, keep coming back. Keep coming back to these pages because your dream will grow and new ideas will come. To give you an example of what I wrote here, in things that energize me, I had, for example, singing, dancing, public speaking, foreign languages, sharing knowledge, and international people. So a strong common theme was stage and audience. A couple of months after I had done that exercise, I suddenly had an idea. Because I wanted to share knowledge, and interact with an international audience, I had an idea to start a business as marketing strategist and international lecturer. And I don't care what other people say. This is what makes me feel successful. So instead of dreaming big, let's dream authentically and notice that dream. Step number three. Just like young plants, dreams, especially in the early phase, they are very fragile, so we need to protect them and give them time to grow. So if you have an idea and a vision of what you really want to do, especially in the early phase, give your dream time to grow strong before you share it with others. And what if somebody else shares their dream with you? Besides time to grow, plants need nourishing sunlight to flourish. So if somebody shares their dream with you, instead of criticizing, questioning, doubting that dream, choose to be the energy of warmth and sunlight which you send towards that person in order to help them grow. And lastly, step number four. You already guessed this one. Do you know when it's time to start chasing your dreams? It is, of course, now. And I know that sometimes our dreams are so intimidating. When I wanted to become a lecturer, I applied to several positions. 
when I suddenly got accepted, I didn't feel ready at all. I thought, can I do this? Am I ready for this? Am I good enough for this? To be honest, I hesitated to sign that contract. But when I told that to my friend, she laughed and she said, of course you got this, Lisa. Let me show you something. She opened her laptop and she said, look, this is my lecture. His slides are horrible. His class is boring. And overall, he doesn't seem competent at all. So if he's got it, you got it. <laughs> and I looked at that man, and you know, he seemed like an anti-hero, you know? That main character in a movie who lacks all the heroic qualities, but we still love him anyways. That was him. So looking at that man, I had found my personal anti-hero. That motivated me, so I signed the contract. So no matter how intimidating your dream is, there's always somebody out there who's less skilled than you, less hardworking than you, less charismatic than you. And that person already has what you want. So go find your anti-hero and start now. So as I sat there on the stairs of my tutor's place, 16-year-old me, that day, I swore to myself, I would never make anybody feel the way that he had made me feel. Today, I help businesses and students to discover knowledge. And instead of judging the whole person based on performance, I choose to be the energy of warmth and sunlight, which I send towards their performance. And when I see them get better, thrive, become the best version of themselves. That is when I truly feel successful, and I feel like I am living my authentic dream. So no matter where you are and where you want to go, today you have learned four simple steps that will help you find and live your authentic dream. So get out there, cut out the noise, notice your authentic dream, then nurture it and start now. Thank you.